Good evening. My name is Doug Deptouch, and I happen to be chairman of the Board of Adjustment. It is now 7.02, as I can best read the clock, and we are now in session. Our first order of business is to uh, call a quorum to make sure that we do have enough folks here on the board who are able to uh, vote on this particular matter. I will start on the uh, right side and go with Blair. Present? Present. Okay. Charles? Present. Okay. Bob? Present. Donnie? Here. Doug? Here. And I am here which means we have a full and complete board and matters go well from there. Our first order of business after we confirm that we are all here is to stand and pledge of allegiance. Do the pledge of allegiance. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. As we begin this evening, we will begin with a public hearing. A public hearing uh, gives an opportunity uh, for all interested persons uh, to speak, share their thoughts, minds, opinions, whatever on the matter we are discussing tonight. And in particular, what we are doing tonight is we are going to be hearing a request by the city of San Antonio for a variance to municipal code of ordinances, chapter 98, zoning, period. I'm sorry, excuse me. Comma, Article 3, District Regulations, comma, Section 98-62, Single Family Residential District, parenthesis R1, close parenthesis. Authorizing an encroachment into the required side yard setback of 25 feet to any side property line located at 10088 Rafter S Trail in Holotus, Texas with the zip code of 78023, more properly described as BCAD property ID number 2 Four, two, seven, three, two. At this point, we will open up a procedures for citizens to be heard concerning that issue. Uh, I do not have a list in front of me of citizens who have requested to be heard on that matter. Uh, has is there a list that I have not received? Or no received. Are there any citizens that desire to be heard concerning this matter? I will ask once again to make sure we've got this covered. Are there any citizens who desire to speak their mind concerning this matter? Okay, can, can I ask you to come forward first? And, uh, please don't worry, this, we're a very informal <laughs> group, but I'm gonna ask you to come forward, okay. state your name, and then state precisely what you said so we do have this for the record. Okay, my name is Gretchen Elkins. Okay, and, and where do you live? We live at 10100 Rafter S Trail. Okay. And I just, mainly I have a question. I. I'm not exactly sure what encroachment means, and I just am concerned about like damage to the property. Okay. So I don't know if there's any questions being accepted or any further description of. And this would be questions concerning 
damage to to the, our property line your properties yes. as a result of what goes on tonight as a result of whatever it is that the they decision are doing. that goes on yes tonight. yes okay well i don't know that specifically our authority would uh, be able to address how your um how, how damages might be settled. We are here more to decide whether or not we are going to give the city of San Antonio the privilege to go ahead and do that. Okay. Once we decide that, it would then be up to you and the city of San Antonio to sort out if they made some changes that would accrue to damages to your property uh, to sort out those particular details. Now, as we go through our discussion this evening, and you would like to raise your hand and say, uh, you know, can, can you clarify for me whatever, we'll be happy to do that. Okay. But okay. This, this is really more right now for discussing what it is, you know, do you have a particular opinion about this, and what is your opinion about this okay. matter? Can I ask a quick question? So go ahead, Donnie. Are you on the property next to the, where they're asking for the variance? Yes, sir. Yes. So you're in the, the house with the swimming pool? Yes. Thank you. Okay. I, and I guess that's what I was curious of, if there was going to be some discussion of what exactly is happening or if it was just going to be just move forward. So I wasn't never been to one of these before, so I wasn't clear what to expect. Uh, as I said, please don't be intimidated. We're all your neighbors. And, okay. and our objective here is to do what's best for our neighbors. Okay. Um, so if, as we go through this situation and we start talking, there's something in particular you would like to talk about, we are very agreeable here as a committee for you to raise your hand somewhere during the discussion I will recognize you and ask you to come back up, tell us who you are, because all of this is being video recorded and tape recorded and all of that, okay. and, and, and let us hear your concerns, your whatever's concerning that matter. Okay. Does that sound fair enough? Yes, sir. Thank you. Good deal. That's what we want. And I'm Doug. I'm not sir. Okay. So go right ahead <laughs> from there. Are there any other citizens that care to be heard concerning this? matter. Sir, please come forward. The name is Gerhard Wasner and I live on the other side of the property and I don't have a phone. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I just want to make a recommendation because I received a letter like this and I had to look up variance and it's sort of like we're going to change the rules tonight. The next thing that troubled me was authorizing an encroachment. Now that I understand. Someone is going to encroach on my property. The lady across the street who's 85 years old, she lost her husband about six months ago. She's in poor health. She was totally dismayed above this letter because to her it was just legalistic language as, as it was to me. Mm -hmm. So my recommendation, and I don't really know what's going to happen. Uh, I've, we're assuming that we're going to lose 25 feet of our property. No. According, well, see, that yeah, needs to be clear. If My recommendation is put a sentence in here that says, well, we want to build something within our own perimeter it would have clarified it, you know. So don't let lawyers write these things. <laughs> they, sure, they, sure. they don't know how to yeah. communicate with people anymore to accept with themselves. So yeah. that's that's all I want to say. Makes perfect sense. And again, sir, as we go through this discussion, we would welcome you to raise your hand, be recognized if you have any concerns. All right. We will discuss this particular matter as a board and discuss and answer that particular question I as wish it to exactly been, it what believed, will happen. Yeah, I would have and, believed a lot of concerns. I'm sorry, sir? Say, I wish it would have been a more detailed explanation of what all this ugly goop means. Mm -hmm. It would have alleviated a lot of concerns. Well, you know, uh, uh, I, in, in many ways, I totally agree with you. Mm -hmm. And as being the, I guess, the head uh, interpreter of gobbly goop for the city, <laughs> I agree with you. Um, but again, uh, uh, none of us are here as attorneys, as mm -hmm. folks who want to split hairs or do whatever. We really are just trying to do what's okay. best for our citizens themselves. Okay. So once again, if you have an issue as we have this discussion, you have questions, 
please just raise your hand mm -hmm. and I will be as gracious as I can be to okay. make sure your questions are answered. All right. Thank you. But thank you for coming forward. Thank you. Any other folks who'd like to share what's going on? Let's share their thoughts. Okay. With that thought in mind, I am going to uh, close the opportunity for the public to come forward and share their concerns concerning the matter uh, we have this evening. And I'm going to close that in particular. And now what I would like to do is turn this matter over to the group of five to discuss exactly what will be happening share will allow each of us to share our thoughts on what is happening what is not happening I'll try to clarify the uh, gobbledygook which is a very good word and and make sure everybody understands what the the goals the intent and the end result will be with that in mind um, I would like to just open up ask for an, uh, one person on the committee to uh, uh, open the matter for a discussion and then get a second. Can I get somebody to open? Open. Donnie? I'll say second. Okay. Charles seconds. Okay. Anybody opposed? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Shall we discuss? I try to keep order by just going from my left to my right. So I'm going to talk with uh, Donnie first. Donnie, your thoughts, your discussions, your... I just want to make opinion. sure we know who's, who's here. Do we have folks here from SAWS? I'm from SAWS, yes, sir. Okay, and what's your position? Uh, I'm a senior network engineer and project manager for this project. Okay. Um, and your name is... What is your, excuse me, Sorry, what is your it? name, sir, since you have... Are you going to be talking? Yeah, why don't you come on up, introduce uh, yourself, thank you. and we'll go from there. Uh, thank my you, name sir. is Kenneth Sumners, and I'm the Senior Network Engineer at uh, San Antonio Water System and Project in Engineer, uh, our Project uh, Manager as it, as it relates to SAW's um, matter. So we, we are leasing the land to uh, the City of San Antonio, and that's why they're the ones requesting this variance. Very good. Do you so this... Um, the current building is there, shows a generator next to it. And then the other picture, as far as what's proposed, I don't see a generator. So is that going inside the new building? Does it go inside the new proposed building? Uh, no, it's not going inside the new building, but um, we might have the city of San Antonio answer some further questions on the details of the thing. I just wanted to show up as a representative from SAWS. But they might be able to answer your questions better, if that's all right. They're, they're going to be the leases of this space that we're talking about. Is that fair? And the um, current building is outside of the 25 feet, so there's not a request or requirement for a variance? The, the current building, or the current um, structure that's there is within the 25 feet as it stands today. How close is it? It's within or without the 25 feet? But within the 25 feet of the side property. So there's a variance for that? Yeah. They've already received one in the past. So this is not to rehear whether or not they, um, you know, yeah. that variance occurs. They have that variance. They are looking to, and maybe we need somebody from San Antonio Azores to better clarify for us exactly what they're doing but to my understanding is what they're looking to do is change a building that was already there right. to right. another building. Right. But, and uh, there's a comment on there that um, the shelters would be one and a half feet from the side property line due to main tank water line. So the water line itself can't be moved? No, the, the existing water line, and this, this is part of the variance request, is that the, the water line is... Um, you know, is, is on the property that's that's in the ground right now, and it's what's the water line coming from the water tank that's on this property. Um, and we didn't want to build this structure on top of that existing water line that can't be moved because it's already, it's a, you know, it's infrastructure, it's part of the, um, you know, part of the site. So if we needed to access this water line 
uh, we didn't want a building sitting right on top of it. So shifting this building allows the access of this uh, critical water line coming from the water tank um, to be accessed for maintenance. So I apologize, I'm interrupting. Is there a chance that we can get the image up on the board so that uh, as we talk yeah. about geography, you know, geometries and things like that, everybody will understand? The last page of our package. Okay, and if maybe that one is a better one to start with. Uh, the redacted drawing. Yeah, that's what this is the redacted. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, so I don't have a pointer with me, but there's a there's a water line coming from here that goes at a 45 degree angle, and then another 45 here coming to our pump sites that are uh, in this section. And this this building, uh, as originally planned, was was. Overhanging this uh, water line, and so moving it back would allow us access to this critical water line that's in this section. Okay, so for clarification, just for for the group. Um, the, there is an existing structure there already that is smaller than the one that is proposed. Um, the existing fiberglass structure is going to be removed and replaced with an approximately 11 and a half feet by 18 feet long structure as drawn. And it, the walls, uh, the perimeter of the structure will be within about a foot and a half of the property line currently. That's correct. Yes. Um, if I can add just a bit more detail uh, for the record, um, this property is not uh, typically sized for residential in this area, especially in, in that neighborhood. Um, I think that the property looks to be about 50 feet wide overall, and the setback that is required by the city is a minimum of 40 feet, typically. So the existing structure was 40 feet back or more, and the existing structure was closer to the property edge than would be allowable by our current uh, residential zoning uh, laws. Uh, kind of the crux of this one is that with the property being about 50 feet wide, you cannot, if we followed the normal rules fully, right. you cannot anything. put any right. structure on this property because you can't get 25 feet from either side setback. So it, this is a, it's an appropriate question to bring to the Board of Adjustments because we're here for these situations where the property cannot meet the regulation but there's already a use for the property. That's correct. I, I hope that clarifies for some of the group uh, what is being discussed today. And is there a specific requirement for a building that size? A specific requirement for it? Um, well, why, being, why is the building so much bigger than the original building? Uh, there's a lot more feature being added to this site. So um, again, they can probably talk better about this, but it's a, it's a public safety uh, radio network that's going into the site that needs that space. And we've already um, reduced this, the size as much as we can to, uh, to, to do that. Okay, I tell you what, sir, yeah. all right, I'll ask you to sit down then, okay. and sir, if I could then ask you to introduce yourself and... Uh, good evening, uh, my name is David Sweet, uh, I'm the Director of Engineering with Daily Wells Communications, and uh, we're working with the city to uh, implement this uh, uh, radio system project that, that's part of this. Okay. So, um, the reason we need a larger shelter is uh, the city of San Antonio is... Um, implementing along with Bear County and CPS Energy a uh, communication system upgrade that uh, is for the entire region. And uh, we're gonna be putting a, uh, a large communication system in and utilizing the existing water tank to, to uh, provide coverage and communications for the public safety uh, entities in this area, including the city of Alotus, Bear County sheriffs and, and things like that. So we Bug need- antennas. I'm sorry, sir. You're talking about antennas on the water tank? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. And uh, we, we prefer to do that than, uh, than to try to build a new uh, tower somewhere. We don't, we don't want to do that. Uh, we would rather use existing resources. Uh, it's a lot easier and uh, uh, a lot less problems. So that's something that we're trying to do. Um, SAWS has been gracious enough to also utilize this system and, and grant us access to this property. Uh, there's a, it is an existing shelter there currently that has SAWS equipment and the city of Pelotas equipment in it. Uh, they currently utilize that. And as part of this, 
upgrade to this new facility, they're going to actually be utilizing this facility also. So we'll have um, City Helotus and Saws in there and CPS Bear County and uh, City of San Antonio. So. Okay, so that is why you need the extra space. Yes, sir. Um, uh, initially, or a couple of times, folks have said, is this going to encroach? And I use the word specifically, I want to make sure everybody understands, you are not going to do anything outside your current um, uh, property boundaries. That is correct, sir. We're not going to be uh, um, building anything on your property or your property. <laughs> I, I would be very upset about that, too, if that was the case. Um, I can see where the confusion was looking at that letter. Uh, we we're staying within the boundaries of the sauce property as it stands. The variance and the encroachment that is discussed is on that 25-foot uh, requirement. So there is a, a, a current variance that was granted that allows them to be approximately five feet, four feet from the, the property line currently. And the only variance we're seeking is to change that to one and a half feet. And the reason we're doing that is because of possible future uh, um, work that might be required on that water main. So. Anybody on the group have a question to this gentleman here? How long has this whole site been in operation? Uh, I mean, roughly. Uh, quite a while. There, it's, uh, yeah, probably. Yeah, the, I, I know the licensing, licensing I, I goes back at least 15 or 20 years. There's been antennas on that particular tower, and I believe that tank was constructed over 30 years ago. Okay. Have, have there been any complaints about the activities that are going on, going on there during that time period? I, I'm not familiar with that. Uh, I'm not familiar with any complaints personally. Okay. <clears throat> and I'm seeing a, um, a lot of trees on the, if I was facing the tower on the left side, I guess between the side and between your, is, is there a pretty good, is that a pretty good barrier for y'all? Um, I'm not exactly familiar with how overgrown they are, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, that, that would be the extent of any trimming that would happen would be if there, if there was overgrowth that would uh, require that. But the building itself, the building itself is uh, not that tall. It's nine foot tall, so it's not, you know, it's not an overly tall building. Okay. So. Okay. Yeah. Come on up. We ask you to come forward so we get you on the record. That's right, sorry. get you on the Again, record. Again, this get is your a name. Sir, your name? Ryan Elkins at 1 100 Raptor S Drive. So my question is, is with this additional uh, equipment coming on, how much more activity will be on the property if we're having saws and uh, communication guys coming up to service and that kind of stuff? Every once in a while, a couple times a week, we might see some saws people. I just want to know, you know, who's around with my kids. Sure. Please, uh, please stay up just in case there are any <coughs> cross questions. Okay. Sir, go ahead. Uh, a great question. Uh, during the initial uh, implementation phase when we're putting in the new shelter and things like that, you'll see more work going on. Uh, we'll actually be cleaning up the cabling and stuff that's going up the, uh, the tower, making it more um, aesthetically pleasing, uh, things like that. So th while that work's going on, there'll be an increased presence. After that, there won't be any additional people. This, this equipment uh, typically is... Uh, serviced uh, once every six months um, we come out and check on it it's all remotely monitored if there's issues lightning strikes or anything like that we come out and fix it but other than that you won't you won't see any additional service okay. thank you um Back. one more question for you um so so far have have they been pretty good neighbors for you all these guys right. uh oh saws in them uh yeah for the most part they're pretty good uh every once in a while you can hear some people uh on the property talking on the phone kind of loud cussing, that kind of stuff that, but other than that, uh, I haven't had too many problems. Okay. 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 Um, just a question for the 
uh, representatives of the uh, of the city and beyond is um, what is the expected duration of the project? Uh, implementation will take about uh, um, in total about 42 months. We're a little over uh, um, 15 months into that. Uh, and then the actual duration, uh, lifetime of the project is anticipated to be 15 to 20 years. Well, so I, I think more specifically, um, having people on site doing the construction uh, and setup. Um, on site construction uh, during setup, uh, we're probably talking a total of, I think we have two to three months. So like, and then that is, you know, we come in and do a pad, and then later on we'll come and we'll actually have the shelter delivered and placed on the pad. So there'll be moments where there's a significant amount of work for a week, then no mm -hmm. no work for several weeks. So probably two to three months would be the maximum duration. Is this a prefab building? Yes, sir. It's a concrete communication shelter. Okay. So. Okay. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, I just, so I have a question. You're you're also a neighbor of theirs. Yes. Have they been? Have you had any issues? They're pretty good. They come out and service it. It doesn't bother us at all. And I'm. I might say I'm relieved I'm not losing 25 feet from my property. <laughs> no. <laughs> and, and according to the letter, it's worth $2,200, so I, or 22,000, so yeah. I'm, 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 I have no objection at all. Okay, so you're, in, so yeah. you're good? No, they're fine. You're, all your questions have been answered? Yeah. A little more clarity? I wish it would have been that letter. I wouldn't have worried. I lost about five days of sleep, you might say, in my neighborhood. <laughs> that's, it. that's why I say let an, an average person write those letters, not a lawyer. Okay. So, yeah. okay. Thank you. Excuse me, was, was your house built after that tank was there? Yes, I, moved, I had it built in 2009. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. mm. okay. And, and the other lady, was your house built after the tank was? Ours was, ours was built in 1979, so I'm not sure mm. what year. Okay, but mm -hmm. since you've lived there. Okay, guys. Mm. So, Guys, since you, you, we're going to talk so, through here. You've lived wanna, there. No, it's fine to make this informal, yeah. but it's yeah. important to be on the record. Yeah. I'm sorry, you asked. No, I, I was just asking uh, since you've lived there, has the tank been there? Yes. Okay. Thank you. So you bought yeah. property with the tank yes. and the situation mm -hmm. in place. Yeah. Then, then the other question uh, I have, uh, you know, a foot and a half is. 18 inches, uh, can you keep the construction damage and debris and all that on that side of the property with only 18 inches? That's not a whole lot. Uh, yes, sir. Hmm. Uh, we'll be doing all the construction uh, work on th this side. We won't have to be on their property. We'll put the required uh, silt fences and all those things that are necessary in place. Uh, and then, mm -hmm. like I said, fortunately, it's a prefab building. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll actually just put that in, and it's anchored with uh, plates on, on the ends that are accessible. All air conditioning and doors are on the accessible sides. Mm -hmm. So uh, we don't anticipate any problems. There'll be barrier put in place so there won't be any weed problems or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Would it be possible for you to give the name of a project engineer to the Elkins in case they have any questions or problems with issues that they can contact somebody? Yeah, absolutely, we can provide that information. Okay. You've kind of randomly gone around the, the, the circle here. Are you I'm finished, good. Donnie? I'm good. I'm good. Bob. Charles? Yeah, I think I've asked all the questions. I'm good. Okay, I'm good as well. That in mind, can I get a uh, uh, a motion to close discussion on the matter? I make a motion to close discussion. I'll second that. You second that? Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Okay. Having finished the open discussion, I guess the simplest way for us to approach this would be for me to first ask, can I get a uh, uh, recommendation one way or the other? as to whether or not we adopt the variance. Um, I would make a recommendation that we do adopt the variance. The re and my reasoning is because this entire project is already under a variance. And as, um, as Charles already pointed out, the property 
just the way it's been approved and laid out is, is a variance in and of itself. There's already one in place, and since nobody really seems to have any objections, and the fact that there's a really nice, strong, natural barrier between the neighboring properties, I don't see how approving this would be would not be in the public's interest. Okay, can I get a second? Second. Okay. I agree. So we have two uh, votes in favor of uh, granting a, va a variance. Can I get a count on that? All in favor? Aye. Aye. One, Donnie, Pip, Bob, Charles. Okay. And I'm Doug, and I'll say I agree. So since all have uh, voted in favor, the variance has now been officially granted. Thank you. Is there any other official business that has to be brought before the uh, council this evening? Or the board, I guess I should say. With that in mind, can I get somebody to uh, make a recommendation to close the meeting? Make a recommendation to close. Donnie recommends to close. Bob, I'm just kind of looking past. I second. Okay, so you'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? <laughs> As I read it, it is uh, 7.33, and the meeting is officially closed, and the variance is granted. Thank you very much. We sure do appreciate you coming out and being citizens who are active in our community.